tell me, listen to me real good. I've told you once, I said it a thousand times. You get out of those pagan, satanic, religious, Christian churches. Christians do not follow the commandments of the Bible. Christians do what they want to do. They make up their own laws, their own rules, and their own regulations. Come out of her, my people, and come out from among them. And it's real simple and easy to ascertain who are these people you need to come out from. Easy. Number one, if they keep Sunday, that's an automatic sign that you need to not have any fellowship with these commandment-breaking, wicked deceivers and seducers and bewitchers of the truth. Simple. All right. Um, is this switchboard on right here? Mm -hmm. Do I need to put it down or? I just log back in. It does that. Just log in. It's still going. Well, it's out lock. Yeah. Hit that up. Up there. Hey. Good morning. Good evening. Good afternoon. Brothers and sisters, ladies and gentlemen. Oh shoot. Citizens of Blog Talk Radio, can you ask them to bring my phone in here, please? Um, I'm joined with you here with myself and, and of course, my sidekick on the side over here, Teacher Shane. Um, uh, we're doing well. Live and well in the land of the living. And for that, we thank the Father for. Oh, man. A little thing there. Thank you very much. It's a... Uh, Receiving, I thank each and every last one of you uh, who are contributing to the work of the ministry. Uh, I promise you uh, that we can prove to you where every nickel and penny is going because uh, we keep up with receipts, but not only that, um, and how Israel is being blessed. Uh. Let me see what's going on here for a second. We're going to see if we can get on here uh, just for a second. Check the live chat here. Monkey Bastard shows up again. Bless you, my brother. My brother from another mother, as they often say out there in the world. Um, I, I'm, I'm blessed. I, uh, I have been extremely uh, what can you say? Uh, busy. Um, Straightway is a lot different uh, than other ministries. Thank you very much. Uh, we, um, I have been doing a lot of legwork this week. Trying to make sure that the community uh, is out of the public to function in the private. Sure is nice, man, where you can do like the rich folks do, if you know what I mean. Live like they live. No, not right now. You know what I mean. Sure is nice to do it like that, isn't it? Mm -hmm. And, um, but it's amazing. First of all, let's go through this. All praise to the Most High. Yes. Yeah. Always. In the precious name. Of his precious dear son, Yahshua HaMashiach, Jesus the Christ. There's none before him. There will be none after him. There's none preferred before him. He alone is worthy of all praise, all glory, and all honor. And I am so grateful that he, and so thankful that he called me and enabled me. And put me into the ministry. I am grateful. And, well, he put you in it too. Oh, yeah. yeah. Definitely. Boy, little did we know. <laughs> when I first meet you? 1995. 95. I think it was in August. August, August 95? Yeah. That's about right, though. Mm -hmm. That's about right, because I got out in 94... And then was, yeah, it's about right, 95, man. Who would ever thought, teacher, here it is, 95. 
uh, that we first met. We got 2005, mm -hmm. 2015, and then um, 15 to 20, it's five years, mm -hmm. and then we have mm, 21. Twenty-six years. We've been knowing each other just half our life, just about now. Yeah. Teacher Shane been with me, has always made good on his promise. Teacher Shane came over to um, we was having a Bible study at my father's house. As my father, um, mom, Dow, Teacher Shane. Me, Chuck, and Lydia. Who else was there? That was it. Oh, Mother Carol. Mother Carol. And um, we were just going over Sabbath day. Teacher Shane heard that message, and he went back to the Pentecostal church. He says, uh, I won't be back here no more. I'm going to help a man of God to do work. Now, you think about that for a second. The book says that there is a friend that sticketh closer than a brother. And there's a friend that loveth at all times. And we've had some ups and downs, ain't we? Oh, yeah. And we've been through some trials and tribulations in the ministry, have we not? Oh, yes. We done been, we done been to the mountaintop. I've been to the mountaintop. But we've had some valleys too. Mm -hmm. I promise you. <laughs> and um, if you're going to know people by their fruit, that's how you're going to know them. A lot of people speak a lot of game. They say a lot of game. But what are you going to do with 26 years of brotherhood? This This brother right here has stuck with me closer than my own natural brothers. Has stuck closer to me than my own natural family. The only one that has been with me longer would be my mother who's still alive and Mother Carol. And that's not diminishing anybody else that has come since. Mm -hmm. We're just telling you there's something to tenure. There's something, you know, as I think about this, you know, when we, there's something to go through everything that we've been through to get to the point where we are now. Oh, yeah. That's a lot of sacrifice. I'm going to tell you the truth, teach. Now, if it ain't the truth, just let everybody know it ain't the truth. But we have worked our ass off. And Yah has blessed the labor of our hands. Oh, yes. Can't, can't. Yah has definitely blessed the labor of our hands. Brother Brown, thank you for your offer. He says, bless your shep first day, fun day, gun day, uh, with 19 Texas Saints that are getting their license to carry certification, looking forward to the range. With them, most high will. And they are down in Texas, Dallas and uh, Houston, Texas. They're going to an uh, undisclosed location. And they're going to be doing some weapons training. I'm glad people are taking heed to that. You know what I mean? Shalom, everybody in the chat room. Bless y'all all. Bless you, brother Darius. Let's stick with that intro, Pastor. Man, we, gonna, we ain't going to change the intro. Uh, every once in a while, we throw a couple little motivations in there. <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, thank y'all for y'all super chat, bro. Mike, bless you, Shepherd. Love you dearly. See you tomorrow. Yeah. Hallelujah. Good to see all of y'all. All of y'all that are gathered around the screens and the communities. Uh, you know, there's a lot more people that's watching that's what's reflected in the chat. Because sometimes, you, you know, you have home fellowships and then you have the communities. Yes. And you'll have one monitor, mm -hmm. but you'll have 50 people watching and monitor. Yes. You know what I mean? And so I'm fully aware that you are all there. 
Brother Victor A says, Shabbat Shalom. How was the effort towards Afro Thunder? Y'all, you got me, man. <laughs> Brother Stan B, thank you all y'all for your super chat. Says, thank you, Shepherd, for your wisdom. Encouraging words. May y'all continue to bless the fruit of your labor. Your wisdom is priceless. I continue to learn what it means to give it all. Well, there's one thing about us. If we say it, we've already done done it. Pretty much, yes. <laughs> I've been there done. We ain't like these stage playing hypocrites. Most people, uh, they say they got faith, but they ain't got no faith. Too many people making friends with unrighteous mamma. And it's the ultimate test. But you notice everybody, preppers, homesteaders, Hebrew Israelites, Christians, they all ignore that message I keep on preaching from the beginning. <laughs> to separate mm -hmm. and to give all. Mm -hmm. How can we improve on the blueprint except get with it? Yeah. How come our church wouldn't do it? They wouldn't give all. Oh, by the way, this hat is an exclusive hat uh, that Brother Galen Brown, Brother Zedekiah, made exclusively for me and Brother Gideon. So I don't think you're going to get that, but I can tell you one thing. If you show up at Tabernacles, Brother, Brother Galen usually has some fire hats. I stopped making hats. There's a lot of things I just stopped doing because I mean, and Mama Nelly got the old school stuff, but man, let me tell you, man, these people are coming with some good stuff. They are coming with some, you see so many products? Well, boy, ain't nothing, I cannot wait to wear this product in my hometown. All right, Brother Jermaine made me a shirt. Says it's on the front. All Christians are going to hell. Ask me why. Well, look what it says right here on the back. You think I ain't going to wear this thing? Shoot, I'm going to sport this. Look what it says. All Christians are going to hell. Ask me why. And you know what? Ain't none of them going to ask me. Not a one of them dare not ask. See, it used to be a time that people used to be proud and arrogant and haughty. But around these parts up here, they know about us. There is not a week that go, don't go by that somebody sees me going to a business or something and they stop. Pastor Dow, good to see you, Pastor Dow. Pastor Dow, how you doing, Pastor Dow? How you doing? You think I ain't going to wear that shirt? I'm going to sport that thing. You know, if we had something to hide, I don't know how much more honest you can get. Yeah. When we use the word civil, anybody ever heard that word before, civil? When we use the word civil, we're talking about honest discourse. We're talking about a respectful change of flow of information from one person to another. Mm -hmm. All these people love Jesus, yet nobody wants to talk about it. And it's the only subject in the world that you can talk about, Yahshua. Mm -hmm. That you can never exhaust. Never ever get bored of talking about. Everybody wants to ignore. You seeing how this calendar filling up? Yeah. Powerful shirt. Good shirt, brother Jermaine. And you know I'm going to wear it. And thank you, Brother Galen, you and Sister Anyala for your offering too as well. Um, we know we got the feast days coming up. They right around the corner. Oh, yeah. And um, we already preparing. Our reef trailer, man, went out. Uh, can you believe it? Right before Tabernacles, the reef trailer went out. Mm -hmm. Bro, Robert, we need to know if you can actually get the Freon that we need. And you're going to have to call here and ask for Brother Brett, and he can fill you in. Because he doesn't have a license. We don't have a license. Somebody in the ministry has a license 
to be able to get the Freon and the stuff that we need in order to fill the refrigerant in the reefer trailer. Otherwise, see what they want us to do is businesses want us to bring the reef trailer to them before they can fix it. And we just don't have that capability yet. But we need that reef trailer. Can we get by without it? Yeah, but it's going to be some inconvenience. Yeah. But we can get by with it, but we need that thing. That thing cools a lot. Mm -hmm. Stores a lot. Brother Robert said no problem. So uh, get with Brother Brett, please, and, and then let us know what's going on. All right. Now, I, I hope I'm not jumping the gun. Uh, the communities are growing. I just got finished myself and my family uh, leaving straightway Goshen. The message um, is posted online. I think I preached about an hour and 20 minutes, something like that, if that long. Um, but Daniel... Rob Lee and the brethren up there, they are, they are, let me tell you something, that community is moving. I am so proud of what I, I can only speak to what I've seen. And I know that up at uh, Brother Chris and them community up there, they're already moving too, and Brother Wills and them is moving along. But, but from what I've seen at these hubs, straightway Kentucky, with Elder Mitch and I'm so proud. Straightway over there with Delano and them, man, they, they just they already had a nice little homestead there. Community. That's a community. It's a community over Delano and Elder Donnie. Um, we got some work we gotta do over there too. Just waiting on a few things, then we're gonna uh get some work done over there. But I'm so proud of Elder Mitch and the Saints up there in Straightway, yeah, Kentucky, so because good. they tired. They're running on tire like we. I never expected that we was gonna be midway of fifty five and we still be this tired like we was when we was in our thirties. Mm -hmm. When we started this community, we still working the same, teach. We still pushing, yeah. We, pushing we still working the same, man. Yes. We still working the same. Yes. Metal building up up there. I, I see that. I see the frame of. It. I did a video and I'm gonna post it on Patreon because you notice I've been posting. Rudy Poop videos on YouTube, but I've been putting mm -hmm. the serious content out on Patreon. Yeah. I'm tired of casting Pearl Full Swine. <laughs> yeah, and I'm so proud of um, what Straightway George is doing down there with Elder Rufus and all of them down there. And, they, and man, you wouldn't believe how happy they are. They yes. got that, they got that uh, multi-purpose, they call it multi-purpose building. Yes. And you know Mother Jennifer, she can't wait. She can't wait wait to get that kitchen done. Because the building's done, but they can't. Man, that's going to really, that's going to really, like, I'm telling you, that's going to, that's a game changer. Mm -hmm. For sisters, that's a game changer. Let me tell y'all, the first thing when you're doing communities, the first thing you should always have in order. Right, we're going to do it as a test the question, all right? Mm -hmm. You people out there, Type in what's the first thing you should type in. What's the first thing should always be in order on a community when you put boots on the ground? Some of you are flip flops or tennis shoes. Come on, talk to us. Tell us what it is. We want to know. You know, because Teacher Shane, now we don't know nothing. We don't know a thing. Well, we're getting a lot of answers. Man, Monkey Bastard just sent me $200 for a cement house fund. In other words, he just put $200 towards that big old home I'm getting ready to build up there. People don't know that home that I'm getting ready to build is going to be more than just a home. It's going to be a radio room. It's going to be an office. It's going to be a conference room. It's going to be a furnace room. Um, it's going to be a plethora of all kinds of stuff going on. Teach that it's in water. Brent Crago is the closest so far. 
leadership, faith, nice big kitchen, farm submissiveness. Brent Crago is is, is the one that's probably got it, the, the biggest one. Mindset, security store. Man, most of you people don't listen to me like I thought you did. I thought you people was paying attention to what I said. Huh? I'm going to try it right now. You people ain't paying attention to me like you thought. I can't believe that most of you done bombed this test all damn ready. When you are establishing, ah, Brother Ryan, he hits it. Spot on. And Anthony Boy, the first thing you want to do when you get to a community is establish a place to be clean. Hygiene. You've got to be able to stay clean. You got to be able to wash your behind. You got to. And for that, you got to have a water source. In other words, the first thing you should work on is a shower house. To be the one of the first buildings. Because if you don't have cleanliness, all kind of diseases, all kind of sicknesses, and everything else can set in like you wouldn't believe it. So the next time I hit this question right here, I hope that y'all don't bomb this again. Are y'all hear me? You got to have shower houses. You got to have a place and the ability for the saints to be able to keep up hygiene, to stay clean. They got to have a water source. That's first and foremost. Man, I can't believe you. I'm kind of disappointed in y'all that y'all bombed that though. I really truly am. It lets me know how much that y'all don't listen. I guess I'm just an entertainment value for a lot of people today. It saddens my heart. It does. But only in part. Bless you, Elder. But you know, we we talk about stuff like this all the time. I got to communicate from Brother Yashar. Read uh, Judah Mack made a video. Um, you know, we, we talking about what's going on over in the Philippines. Um, August 25th, if you don't have the, the uh, what I've been calling, a the stab, a stab, yeah, a stab, mm -hmm. and if you don't show me your papers, you don't get to buy any food, tell me, now mind you, where did the cold go, the common cold, or the flu? What everything, everything, you get a damn sniffle, man, it's, it's a jam. It's COVID. Man, I tell you. Oh, that's Nelly. She dropped the hate. Tell something to give me some more there. She'll hear it. She'll hear it. But, um. You got to have cleanliness. You got to have a place to wash your behind and brush your teeth. Man, I can't believe people bombed this. I, I'm going to, I'm going to, have to go back to bare nothing teach. <laughs> Dang. But. Elder Mitchell, Elder Rufus, and, and Brother Daniel in Straightway, Indiana, you know, I've been to these places this year, and and I'm just so extremely proud of what I see. Mm -hmm. It does my heart good, if you understand what I mean. Because mm -hmm. um, for the longest, it was just us. And now look at all these communities now. Bless you, Pastor Corey. You ain't forgotten all you saints out there in St. Louis or wherever y'all at right now. I uh, want to send a shout out to all y'all. My daughter, Gabby. Deacon Miguel. Sister Jasmine. All y'all, y'all hold down the fort. Y'all is good. 
Pastor Corey, uh, that's a good man, good pastor, good pastor. Learning fast, too, and quick. Getting the stripes, too. Yes. Need to get them now, better now than later. Yep. Doing a damn good job, though. Proud of Pastor Corey and all them. What can I say, man? We just got good people in the man. We just got good people. Yes, absolutely. We just, uh, the ministry. I was talking about TJ. And uh, TJ, he ain't, uh, him like Kabir and Rob Mathis and Daniel and all that. These ain't no proud men in any way, shape, fashion, or form. They really, truly don't give a damn. About accolades or nothing like that. They they really truly don't. True. They they just don't. These are servants of the Most High Yah. And I I walked in to music practice. Hey TJ, check this out. And I said, Hey, um, you've been coming around for a while now. What's so bad about this? He goes. I said, Pastor, you ain't heard all that evil that they said about me? And all the people in the... He says, Pastor, I've been in a lot of places. And this is the most holiest place I've ever been. And I'm sure other people can do it on the face of the earth. I'm te- this, is, this is it. There ain't nobody that's even within... I- I'm going to try to come up with a phrase. I'm going to say... Kabir says light years. Mm-hmm. He said, there ain't nobody within, I'm going to use galaxies of straightway. And we're not saying that to be prideful or arrogant or nothing like It's all just about, it's humility yes. and obedience, which calls you to boast in Yah. Yes. Oh, How'd yeah. I do on that one? That's right. That's and most right. people, they get it wrong. They boast get mad and upset because we make our boast in Yah. <laughs> No oh, boasting our own damn no. self. How many times you ever see us and I, 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 how many times you see us and I, and I? Man, come on. Get your head out of your four point of contact and come on with it. We always make our boasting young. Always do. We know where our strength come from. We know where our wisdom come from. We know where our knowledge and understanding. We know where our breath come from, our life come from. We know where everything comes from. Well, we ain't worried about the sun get blocked out. The sun get blocked out, we got thermal. But um, hygiene is extremely important, first and foremost. I made a video today, too, about on communities. You're not going to last long on communities if you're lazy. That's an abomination, isn't it? Yep. You won't, you won't make it long. Your damn hypocrisy and all that shit is going to catch up with you. You, can't, you cannot be lazy and be on a, You can't do it. No. How's it looking like all of us old hats over 50 years old and we've been doing this and then we're going to let you come and be lazy? No. That that don't make sense. That's and broke. Our, and I do in our labors like that. No, no. no you no. ain't. <laughs> they, you, you, teach said a good and entering into our labors. Yeah, that's what you're doing. When you come to this ministry, you're literally entering in. Yes. To a course. That's been set before you. Yes. Yeah, you are. You are entering in the vein that the Most High Yah has given us. Yes. And we are pushing on forward. Oh yeah, we are. Mm-hmm. Thank you, babe. Jordan Wafer, or Jordan Wafer Wafer. It just says Jordan W. I said Wafer. Here, babe. What the hell? Anyway. All right. Look what it says. Bless you, Pastor. Thank you for all you do. And the example. You are welcome. Now, teacher saying, is that prideful? No. Somebody said, bless you. The Bible says, don't let your own lips praise you, but another did. Yeah. Didn't it say that? That's right. That's so, if somebody is sending blessings to yeah. me, 
Is there something wrong with me saying thank you? No, you're going to receive that blessing. I'm going to receive that blessing because <laughs> every time I turn around, everybody cursing me. I need yes. some blessings. Yes. <laughs> Damn. No, I need some blessings. Yes. <laughs> you need blessings. Oh, yeah. yeah so we receive that. Every hour, every second. Yeah. You better pay attention to what he's saying because he's saying a lot of stuff over there. <laughs> so he says, the wife is off the job. Now, hold on. Now hold on. Now we gotta do a special on that one right there. Oh yeah. Moving forward. We gotta do a special on that one right there. We're gonna give you a trumpet on that one. Y'all ready? We got to do a trumpet on that one. Pastors, according to mine heart, which shall feed you with knowledge and understanding. He said that the wife is off the job. My daughter was born last month at home. according to mine heart, which shall feed you with knowledge and understanding. Boy, I tell you, it's going to be hard to get through this little message, isn't it? Says a nice little offering, and then he says, and it went great with no problems. Glory. Hallelujah. He says, learning welding, pipe fitting. All right, skill sets. To be an oh, yeah. asset for the ministry, sir. Oh, yeah. Get them skill sets on you. See somebody like that? Oh, yeah. Yeah, it, it won't be long. They'll be on the community. Oh, yes. Yeah, because they're making themselves ready. Yes. They, they're they not coming as a liability. But as an asset. But as an asset. They're coming yes. as an asset. That's what they're doing. Yes. Shabbat shalom and blessings. Yah is just and good. Yeah, he is, man. And Brother Eric. Howard says 200. Man, we got a lot of blessings coming this way, man. Thank y'all all. Every single one of y'all. Man. Lord to the king. We, um. We were at, I was at Straightway Goshen this past weekend, right? Of course, we all said we ain't going to be up long tonight. You know, here it is Friday going off into Sabbath. Yeah. It's already Shabbat anyway. One o'clock in the morning. We still sitting there talking and fellowship and talking about Jesus. <laughs> then we finally go to bed. Wake up, do Shabbat service. And then we have Sabbath. Mm -hmm. Daniel and them do like we used to do it. Go to sleep after service is over with and then wake up at about 7, 8 o'clock. You know, Brother Bud does that around here. Mm -hmm. Brother Bud's showing how old he is. He just old. <laughs> he goes to bed too. And then he comes in all fresh. But, um, Brother Bud a hard worker. Yes. Brother Bud, it's, it, he's, he's a, Brother Bud is an immediate asset too because he, that brother's a builder. Yes. He definitely, Brother Bud coined that, that phrase, which which had us falling out. Yeah. If you ain't handsome, you better be handy. <laughs> Boy, we about lost it. <laughs> man, we about lost it. Um, but man, it, it the, the grind is good, and the brother is serious about his work. Because whatever he puts his hand to, he know his signature is on it. He's serious about it, and I like that. I do, man. And um. Brother Daddy Lib, here we are. Sabbath. And um, we all stay. We ain't going to stay up late. You know what it is, right? Two nights in a row, one o'clock in the morning. Plus at Goshen, right? 
Frogman had asked me, "Are we going? Are you going to do come out and train with us?" And I could only train half the time because I had to get on the road and all that, man. But man, then we had somebody um, defecate on themselves, and we had to do forty push-ups. And because I'm out there on the range. Yeah, Pastor Dowell is on the range. But it's not my range. I'm not running it. Frogman is. So when I get out there on that range, I'm I'm just like everybody else. And nobody don't give a damn about your title, Pastor, and all this other stuff. We got a mission to accomplish. Yes. Next thing you know, Frogman that hands out discipline, 40 push-ups, and run that hill. I'm only three weeks, man, and I'm getting ready to be 55, 55 man. I don't ever do no damn cardio. And here I am running that hill at Goshen. I did, too. Then I look over to my right, and here's Rob Math as he trucks right past me. That's a hill, man. That's a hill. I don't know what's worse, going up or coming down. Going up, it, it's, it's the, the burning and the breathing. Rob Mathis says, you a straight up G, Shep. <laughs> Y'all hear that? And man, now I remember in, in my day, man, I could tackle the hill, do it three, four times. But boy, 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 that hill, Jesus. And then coming down, man, if you make a wrong step, you're going to tumble down that hill like tumbleweed. You will tumble down that hill. And man, let me tell you what, boy. I was breathing. I thought my heart was coming out of my mouth like in a cartoon. <gasps> Sound like I had asthma almost. I get to the top of that hill, man. I look up there. There's a gate laying down in the grass. That's how you know I've been to the top, along with the post at the top. Mm -hmm. Daniel Muir said after 1.30 a.m., that hill was the worst. It sure was. Because we still, we still three sheets in the wind. <laughs> it was straight up the worst. It was, man. And um, everybody kept good spirit. Frogman was right. He was spot on in his discipline too. But um, I'm telling you right now, if you are 54 years and 11 months, you go to straightway Goshen, this is going to slow your ass down. Your ass going to run that hill because pastors already set the bar. Damn Frogman and Lee and Rob, they run the hill like a cat. They just like cats, man. Like the hill wasn't even there. <laughs> the other bros did good too. They did good too, but man, I'm telling you, I don't care how many times you run that thing, you're going to feel that thing. But it is a good tool of discipline. Most of you out there, you would have cussed out y'all, you cussed out the brethren, and you would have said, I'm done with it. Yeah, I ain't doing that shit. Who in the hell they think they are to sit up there and make, isn't that amazing? We got so much discord and disobedience and softness and and, and, and femininity and, and every damn thing else. It is so sad. Where are the men at today? I don't feel a damn thing about the vaccine. I ain't getting it. I leave it up to everybody else. Do what you want to do, but that ain't me. I ain't getting it. That's what I feel. I, that's one thing. And you can tell, listen, I'm not, I don't mean to make a spectacle of it, but we don't do things based on feeling. I get a feeling when I'm making love with my shies. I get a feeling when I'm worshiping the, the Ruach, the yes. Holy Spirit. Or, or Yah himself, which is a spirit. Mm -hmm. 
I get a feeling when I'm in the tabernacle and that word is just coming so good. You understand know yes. what I mean? I get a feeling when I hug the brother and stuff like that. But when it comes to facts, just dealing with everyday old facts, man, it has nothing to do about feeling. I damn feeling the subject can change just like the weather is out here. Feeling ain't got a damn thing to do with nothing. Oh, by the way, thank you, Rob. Rob said I'm OG, man. I, I'm i trying, man. I'm trying to hang in there and push back. Because, man, I can feel. I, I told, somebody asked me the other day, I told them. I said, man, we had this talk at the table a few spots ago. I told them, man, I said, man, I, I know what happens when you hit 50 and now you hit 55. This is what happens. Your body... It doesn't, there's no voice, but your body communicates and tells you, I kind of slow down a little bit. Take it a little bit easy. And when it means a little bit easy, that means you don't want you to do a damn thing. That's so true. <laughs> Am I right, T? That's right. <laughs> That's what the body says. Oh, that body talks, yeah. Every single time I go to exercise or something, my body is telling me, it comes up with all these excuses in your mind of what to do. I mean, just the smallest excuse, it, it comes up with. And I, it's amazing how the mind works when you get, I'm telling you, it is amazing. I'm like, man, I never heard this communication like this before. Yes. But boy, am I hearing it now. Oh, yeah. There is a voice. That hits your body when you, and, and I'm telling you, if you're not discerning what the hell's going on, yes, you will succumb to it. Oh, yeah. And it tells you, well, you're getting old, take it easy and all. And it tries to invoke all these fears. All these things. <laughs> and, and you start feeling every damn thing. You feel a pain right here. You got a pain here, pain over there. Every pain is a pain of death. Every pain. Every pain. Yes. Every pain. Oh, oh shit, this is the big one. You're getting ready to have a heart attack. Um, oh, oh, that's it. You're getting ready to have a stroke. Oh, no, 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 hell. The body, it, it, it's crazy what this mind be doing. I never heard none of this in my 20s. Never heard none of it in my 30s. Never heard any of it in my 40s. When I get 50, that this like this spirit, it just goes all in. It starts telling you all kinds of shit. <laughs> it does. Yes. I'm sitting up there thinking, I'm like, God, God of mercy. I'm like, man, this damn flesh don't never stop, do it? When the book says that the flesh died hard, it dies hard. And it wars against the spirit. And, I'm, and so I, I was talking to the brother, I said, man, bullshit. I said, they call in the world Father Time. I don't ever read no shit like that in the scripture, but but they call it Father Time. That's what they say all the time. Who in the hell is Father Time? You know what I mean? Myth. And they said, um, I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna tell y'all what this body don't want you to do. This body don't want you to move. True. This body, when you cross that threshold of fifty. It's going to start communicating with you. It's going to tell you, take it easy. You've arrived. You've earned this. You deserve this. Bullshit! No. That book is trying to kill your ass. That's exactly what it's trying to do. T. Shane, he be out here sun up, sun down. He be after it. After it. And boy, believe me, I got, I got pains every damn well from all this running, to jumping out of airplanes, to repelling out of helicopters, to riding sports bikes around the damn racetrack like a damn maniac and wrecking. How I many of those bikes we don't put back together after I come back home? Damn thing demolished. Shit. Boy. Huh? Broken ribs. Anyway, y'all don't want to hear my sob story. I ain't. I don't even want to give you a sob story. But anyway, what I'm getting to is, is this. The body has a voice. And it talks. Yes. 
and we have learned you're not going to stop yourself from getting old, but you sure can hell slow it down. Yes, you can. I'm of the mindset and thinking that my dad and dad doubt he didn't do a lick of exercise a day of his life. And if he can live to 81 years old not doing a damn lick of exercise, I, I, we, the father, I'm hoping, please, father, be gracious with us and give us a few more years after that. Yes. You know what I mean? And, and all these damn vegans out here. I ain't seen no vegan. Show me a vegan that's made it to 100. I can show you people that's eating meat that's made it to 117, 120, 125 in this generation. Yes. And everybody loves talking arrogant when you're young. You remember when we was 30, when I was 20 and 30, I had a bionic stomach. Yes. I could go out and drink all night, run eight miles the next day. Eat cold pizza for breakfast. Yes. Piss crap and do it again. And again. And again and again and again. And, uh, That's youth. And youth is very deceitful. I want to see <laughs> if you're going to have that same vigor and strength when you get older. Mm -hmm. Because they got uh, brags. They made Bragg's apple cider vinegar. Yeah. Shoot, man, he he was doing marathons at 80 years old. Walking deserts at 80. Ain't none of you out there doing this, so shut up. But boy, this body talks. And it gives you every excuse in the world to help you out. That body, look, I purposely, my size make sure I got a sister girl. I purposely got a dish full of twists right here. Twits. You know how many times I walked past that twits thing today and yesterday and the day before and that thing was calling me? <laughs> See, if I walk past it, I don't hear anything, I may get, they call these things a left and a right. I may get one of them. But boy, as soon as I hear my damn spirit, Start telling me, there's one of them twits. You ain't, you damn sure ain't getting one. The body, no, you ain't getting shit. I'm the Lord over this body. Oh, yeah. Not a damn voice or an yeah. impulse or a feeling. I mean, you're the master. As soon as it starts voicing something, you ain't getting shit. Yeah. I'm putting you on a fast. Huh? I mean. And man... This body talks so bad. I sit up there and said, I'm going to gym. Even when I don't feel like it, I'm going to gym. Mm -hmm. And I ain't just going to it either. Most people say, I'm going to gym. They'll drive up there, go in, come out, and they say they been. <laughs> I'm going to go up there and I'm going to hammer this damn body. Yeah. I promise you I am. I'm hammering this damn body. But this body talks. It makes up all the sorry excuses in the world. The, I can sit down, uh, straightway Goshen, boy, they can cook. They cook some good food, teach. Mm -hmm. And I still stuck with my portions. Yes. My body was saying, get another portion. As <laughs> soon as I heard that, you know what happened, right? Mm -hmm. We ain't getting nothing else. We done. As soon as, because that's a good food. Yes. I mean, something is either going to be, if it's going to be you, let it be you. But don't let your body tell you what the hell to do. Your body don't ever tell you to drink water <laughs> until your ass about damn dehydrating, about dying. Yes. And then, then it's too late. You need to hydrate another way then. Anyway, it, it, I went through all that to try to tell y'all. I'm letting y'all in personally on things in life that nobody else seems to discuss. They don't even talk about. The body has a voice. And it does talk. And it's going to continue to keep on talking. Yes. Um, 
And I'm just not going to yield to it when it wants it. I'm going to still govern. I'm going to still, Lord, it's going to do what the hell I said. And, and, and my shy is right. Don't let your body tell you what to do, but love it. I do. I love it to death. I love it to the point I die daily. I'm killing. I'm mortifying this booger. I'm still feeding it everything it needs to feed in order, you know, in order to function. Yes. But you ain't getting what you want. Yeah. Man getting yeah. The better portion. Oh yeah. <laughs> I, I purposely told my child make some fish and make make some salmon, some freshwater salmon, and 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 a, and a boatload of spinach. That's what we had for dinner. Mm. Salmon, spinach, mm. and rice. You can't go wrong with that, man. No, that's a good meal. That's a damn good meal. That's a damn good meal. Hmm? Yeah. Tore that up. Pastor Dow, I'm 19, sir. A man of y'all. I live in Tennessee, Murfreesboro. I know where Murfreesboro is. I got family over there. How do I join your land in Tennessee and your ministry? Well, you don't join nothing. Let's go over to Acts chapter 2 and we're going to get this real quick, man. Um, and we're going to start at Acts chapter 2, verse 38. See, this is how we get started in the scripture right here. Somebody asks a question, my attention get drawn to it, and then we roll. Isn't that right? Mm -hmm. Acts chapter 2, we're going to start at verse 38. If y'all hunger for fellowship, y'all want fellowship. The way you do it is, is you call the dining hall. Bless your brother B. Appreciate the offer, man. Brother Allen. Um, and you leave your name and number, leave a message for Elder Doug. He'll get back to you. Now, we're going to start at Acts chapter 2 to answer this question, going down to verse 38. So listen real closely. Welcome, each and every last one of you that are here to join this broadcast here tonight. Somebody asked me, they said, why in the hell you got so many guns around you? I said, so I can protect myself and those who I love. Mm -hmm. If you see a magazine in them, chances are they're loaded. Mm -hmm. So Acts chapter 2, open up the book. Acts chapter 2, start at verse 38. Teach us, read on down. Let's go, we're going to read quite a few verses so we can answer this in content. Come on. Then Peter said unto them, Repent, and be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ, for the remission of sin, uh -huh. and you shall receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. Come on with it. For the promise is unto you, and to your children, and to all that are far off, even as many as Yahweh our Elohim shall call. Are we not afar off? Because when this was spoken, this was 2,000 years ago. Yes, it was. So we all fall off. Come on. And with many other words, did he testify and exhort, saying... What did he say, Teach? Save yourselves. From what? From this untoward generation. Y'all hear this? Save yourselves from this untoward generation. Come on. Then they that gladly received his word... Now stop. Let, let's stop for a second. They wasn't offended. They wasn't full of rejection. No. They wasn't full of bitterness. No. And hatred. No. Uh, they wasn't scoffers. No. And mockers. No. But these were people who gladly, gladly. received his word. Yes. In other words, they heard the word they came with anticipation. Yes. That's why I get on the people about always around here. When you come to Shabbat, are you anticipating the word? Or are you just rolling on in like a dead, rotten out log? Come on. They that gladly received his word were baptized. And the same day, they were added unto them about 3,000 souls. So when you receive the word, 3,000 souls get added, right? Mm -hmm. And watch this. Here is, name the verse we're getting ready to read. Verse 42. This is the verse. For your question, Murfreesboro, Tennessee, listen. And they continued steadfastly in the apostles' doctrine 
and fellowship, and in breaking of bread, and in prayers. Read on. And fear came upon every soul, and many wonders and signs were done by the apostles. So, that starts the communication. Mm -hmm. He gives you an instruction. And then fear came up on every soul because many what? Wonders and signs. Mm -hmm. That's one thing that gets a lot of people when they come to straight way. Because uh, whereas a lot of people, all they do is bump gums, read scripture, and talk a bunch of crap. When you get here, you're going to see, and you will see, the demonstration and the power of the spirit. Yeah, living word. Oh, yeah, you're going to see it. They ain't going to be, and I promise you, you get in a mass deliverance your first two couple of times here, you will experience the fear that you will see, that you've heard about and you read about over in Acts chapter 2. You can try to act whatever way you want, but fear will, uh, it will come all over your ass. Yes. You know why? Because we have power. Mm -hmm. I don't care about these people. Well, I don't agree with his doctrine and stuff. Well, your doctrine ain't better than mine. Your teachings are not better than mine. Because I get mine straight from the book. Yes. And not only that, I'm going to do with power. Yes. I got something to back up my words. Yes. Fruit following. Yes. You know what I said? Oh, yeah. It's just not words. I got something that backs up my words. It's called Shemaim. Yes. Read on. And all that believed well, what were together. Apart. Together. Separated. Together. In other countries. Together. Other cities. Together. Y'all hear that? All that believe were to gather. So where's your camps? And all I'm doing is everybody, they got hallmark scriptures they love quoting, don't they? That's all we doing. Reading in content. Mm -hmm. If you believe, you're going to be what? together read on and had all things common oh no common yes common. all things oh oh read on and sold their possessions and goods and parted them to all men now mind you this is the instructions that the apostles received after the death burial and resurrection of messiah you hear that? Mm -hmm. Why is it so hard for us to obey today? I know why. You want to find fault with everybody but yourself. Yeah, yeah. You you want to uh, point fingers at everybody else and get pissed off and show that, that unregenerated attitude, showing how you've been unconverted. You're so staunched in your way that you can't submit. You can't humble yourself. You can't do what this book says. I know. I believe me. I, hey, hey! If you don't like it, turn to state. Tur hey, y'all have exercise your American freedom, liberties, and everything else. Turn to dial, because you're gonna get the truth straight way here. Come on. Imparted them to all men as every man had need. Notice you get what you need, not what you want. want. <laughs> Read on. And they continuing daily. With one accord. Wait a minute. So that accord is determined on the brand new people who are coming in place. Mm -hmm. Or is that accord determined by the ecclesiastical council that already got blood, sweat, and tears in this game, mm -hmm. that already have proven themselves, been tested and tried? Let me tell y'all something. Listen. I am a man, I am fallible, and I am flawed. Is there something wrong with that? No, that's just truth. Are... I'm going to drop another bomb on y'all. If y'all ready for this bomb, type in bomb. Mm -hmm. Type in bomb. Come on. Hmm? I can admit I'm fallible and I'm flawed. Yes. I will tell you this though. Here come the bomb. I have lived my life in sacrifice and obedience to this word. 
You hearing this? I said I'm a man fallible and flawed. I have lived my life almost 30 years of going to zero impoverishment. Mm -hmm. Nothing. Fallible and flawed. And I still telling you I'm fallible and flawed. Mm -hmm. If you think you're going to bring your cherry ass five, ten year service and you think that you can see my flaws and, and all how fallible that I am, then how great is my eyesight in looking into you? Some of you, you need a damn humility check. Yes, very true. A wise man, he don't utter everything that comes to his mind. No. And a wise man knows how to hold a matter until afterwards. Yeah. Time the, to judge me. There you go. But the fool <laughs> others all of his mind. Yeah. I'm going to say it again. I've been doing this 30 years and I've been living this separated, set apart. And you think that you in a place to judge me? You think you see greater than I do? Mm -hmm. What do you think humility does? Humility reveals your obstinate spirit. Yes. Oh, it, it, humility lets us see how far yes. your ass will go, fool. <laughs> you dumbass fool. I said, been living this 30 years, and you think you're going to check me on one damn area, which in the grand scheme of things is damn minute. You are out of your ever-loving mind. Pow. And I'm going to still tell you, I'm a man fallible yes. and flawed. I mean. You still need your damn diaper change. You ain't ready for me. You ain't ready for none of us who done made this sacrifice. Shall we begin? Come on. Shall we down begin? Ain't no need in trying to hide behind a cloak of maliciousness because there ain't no cloak to hide behind. No. I want this away. Bring your ass to the forefront to the righteous judgment, then you'll see how much we bring into the table. And I say this with all humility. And you think you got something, you better shut up. That's what you better do. What you gonna do when you come face to face with yourself finally and then you get it? That's the worst train wreck in the universe. Seeing yourself. Yes. What I could say, what he could say, pales in comparison. And even what I'm saying right now, some of you so stiff-necked, so stubborn, so jealous, so stout heart, you still don't get it. You don't get it. Don't tell me what blindness is. I know what blindness is. Now I was once blind, but now I can see. Oh, it's getting quiet now. <laughs> it damn sure getting quiet now. Truth in I the promise house. that. In the house now. Don't you ever <laughs> make the mistake and count my humility for weakness. Don't ever count meekness yes. for, for weakness. weakness. And don't ever count when you're doing all your lip flapping and all your damn talking. And I ain't saying nothing. Don't think you got the victory. I'm letting the fool utter all your mind, <laughs> dumbass. <Ow. laughs> I'm telling you, teach. Well, I mean. I'm trying to tell you. All I'm trying to do is help everybody. Yes. Brother Sergio said double blessings and honors, Pastor Dow, to you and your household. Thank y'all for Jeremiah 3.15 giving the truth straight away during this day. Time and hour we are in strength and honor. Bless you, my brother. Listen.
This gray hair is on my face and stuff. People get that every day, but this gray hair right here didn't come because I'm just getting old. There's some wisdom involved in this. You look at me and teachers saying, oh, we getting old. But you shave off all this gray hair and see if we look 55 years old. Mm -hmm. See what I'm saying? Because some people, they 55, and boy, they wear it hard. Look Man, they've been rolled up hard and hung out wet. wet. <laughs> Y'all better hear me? Yes. I can shave off all this gray hair right here. Tell me if I'm 55. Tell me. You know what the problem is? We have been where you are. Mm -hmm. But you ain't been where we are. And because you ain't been where we are, you think you know something. Sit down and shut up and let me talk to you for a while. Yes. You're going to find out how little you know. Be a disciple. Be a talk one. Yes. How we doing, T? All is well. Very well. Plumb line. Plumb line. Plumb line. I still don't think we're talking to this generation tough enough, though. I really don't. I really don't think we're talking to it tough enough. This is a spoiled ass, weak ass, sorry ass, soft ass, and feminine ass generation. Yes. The deal. Titanium mentality. Let me put this damn popcorn down. <laughs> Mind you, I'm the one always say get your popcorn. Finish reading it, T. Sold their possessions and goods and parted them to all men as every man had need. And they continuing daily with one accord in the temple and breaking bread from house to house. You know what? Let me jump thoughts here for a second. Young men, let me talk to you. Yes. And listen real good. Our Bible, our scriptures, our book mm -hmm. teaches you. If you're sitting around a table or in a fellowship where there's a bunch of horror-headed people, you know what the book says? I'm going to put it in y'all language today. Keep your damn mouth shut. Shut up and listen Respect. and learn. Yeah. You ain't got a damn thing to add. You don't know shit. You ain't been nowhere. You ain't done damn nothing. All that thing you've done is within your little sorry, petty little life. You know how I can tell you that? Because when I was your age, without me even knowing the book, I kept my mouth shut. What I look like trying to talk a bunch of bunch of men 50 and 60 years old. Yes. They've already done walked the path. Yes. What I got to add? I'm shutting in my mouth and I'm listening. That's what I'm doing. No, y'all got the internet. Y'all got Google. Y'all got TikTok, flip flop, T top, and whatever the hell it is. Y'all got all this information out when you still stupid as hell. And I'm not getting on y'all per se. What I'm trying to do is I'm trying to put a defibrillator on your spiritual consciousness because the humility that you think you have that you can never seem to obtain to, maybe you can attain to it if you hear these words. Mm -hmm. Maybe you can attain to it then. I'm not used to these kind of men in this generation, and I'm not used to this generation. I really truly ain't. I'm not used to this men having more emotions than women. Have more feelings than women. I ain't used to this shit. I'm sorry, man. I don't think I can ever get used. I, I, it, it just cannot happen, man. It can't happen. No, that's way out of order. 
I love being around men. I do. I love being around men. Warriors. Warriors. And you ain't got to be in a damn military, be no warrior. A lot of people in the military are a bunch of damn punks today anyway. A man nor a man. You got to talk shit. Everybody know. You ain't finished yet, Abby. Go ahead, Chase. Read on. And they, continuing daily with one accord in the temple and breaking bread from house to house. Let me, let me ask you a question. How in the hell, what accord is that? I'm going to tell you what that accord is. That accord is, is whatever the leadership established in whatever prospective place you are at. Yes. That's the one accord because they know what the accord is. They did that from house to house with what? Breaking bread from house to house and did eat their meat with gladness. And what else? And singleness of heart. Now, hold on. Hold on. Read on. Praising Yah and having favor with all the people. You ever notice that when you got a soft, offended ass person they stop praising y'all. Mm -hmm. You ever knows that? You ever knows that? Mm -hmm. Don't want to be spotting your feast of charity. Yes. Why they feast with you, sporting yes. themselves to their own destruction. I mean, no gladness. We could go to Jude, but we're going to hold this right here, all right? Yeah. Read on. Praising y'all and having favor with all the people. Well, who? All the people. Come on. And y'all. Added to the... Whoa, 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 whoa. What verse is that? Verse 47. Y'all need to write that down. Acts 2, verse 47. And y'all do what? Praising Yah and having favor with all the people. And Yah added to the assembly. Who did? Yah did. Pastor Dow did. Y'all did. Teacher Shane did. Y'all did. Elder Mitch did. Y'all did. Elder Rufus. Uh, Y'all did. Brother Kabir. Y'all did. Brother Daniel. Y'all did. Elder Becker. Y'all did. Elder Donnie. Y'all did. Nah, come on, man. Y'all. Y'all did. Y'all. Y'all added <laughs> yeah. to the assembly. Yeah. Such as had daily, should be. Daily. 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 Such as should be. Such as should be. You know what happens with that? Conviction comes upon you because you hear our words. They're not our words. They didn't originate with us. They originate with him. Mm -hmm. That's just the prescribed way he used to bring about conviction. Yes. Then the Ruach starts dealing with you. Yes. And he yes. causes you, impels you, compels yes. you. If I can say that word and be pure, compels you yes. to submit yourself. Yes. Most of you people are going to miss out on the kingdom. Mm -hmm. I don't give a damn whether you like it or not. I'm a man of authority in this generation. Don't give a shit what you think. Don't. I've been under authority. I've been in authority. And now I'm a man of authority. Because of your humility. Be one more time. Because of your humility. What the hell are you going to tell me? <laughs> I got a structure. That's like yes. Hiskia. He's my son, right? Yes. Hiskia, love him. Boy, all yeah. 10 pounds, all 10 months and 25 pounds. Yes. <laughs> love him to death. I could sit here and raise him for the next 20 years. Yep. They, they put me at 75 years old, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. Let his ass turn from following me as I follow Messiah and see what I got for his ass. Yes. I'll cut his ass off like a yeah. like, like like running a damn hot knife through butter. Yes. I would enjoy the time that I had with him in years, yeah. but he would never become before Messiah. No. I will cut his ass off and he ain't going to have a damn thing from me. 
And where did this behavior come from any damn way? I mean. Because when we look at Israel. Yes. Jacob. Yes. He had 12 sons. Yes. And those sons, as rebellious and stubborn as they oh, were, yeah. they submitted to the father. Oh, yes. They honored the father. Oh, yes. We ain't got that shit today. No, no honor. You don't honor me as a father. I won't honor you as a son. Yes. Y'all hearing me? Come on. I'll be like Abraham. Yes, handshake him. Yes. I got plenty of <laughs> sons, and I will call them Eliezer. Yeah, yeah. Don't think you know what the hell you're talking about. Yes. Huh? There are plenty of people that be our sons that will follow after us. We follow them aside. And leave every damn thing in the world back to them because we know it to be the work for the kingdom and not your selfish, funky ass. Yes. Good shit. And just in case y'all think I'm playing, watch and see. You're going to be in the family, you're going to submit. Yes. You're going to get in your role. And you will perform your role yes. to the best of the ability of the requirements of the role. You can't do that shit. I mean, we got a damn thing for you. Ain't no need in being deceived. Ain't no need in wasting time. Go out here and go with all these other hypocritical ass people that are stage playing and playing and toying around with your soul. We ain't the ones. How much more honest can you be? Hmm? But if he falls away, him and the rest of the Israelites that are on all these lands that we have, they will have nothing to worry about the rest of their days of their life. All we got to do is give them wisdom, teach them how to maintain. Yes. Other than that, they don't have nothing, their children and their children's children will have nothing else to worry about the rest of their life. How much more beautiful can you get than that? Well, Pastor Dow, you're a piece of shit. Not more than you are. You ain't in a position to cause me a piece of shit. I'm in a position to call you a piece of shit. Mm -hmm. If you're behind me in tenure and age and respect and service of y'all, you ain't got a damn thing to say. You better shut up, humble yourself, and submit. Humble. Yes. Now, wait a minute. What happened to all the comments in the chat room? Everybody's on fire. We done dropped off 20 people just that fast. What happened? The way too straight, too narrow for you? Huh? We're giving you wisdom. Yes. Hmm? And truth in the inward parts. Yes. Precepts of real life. Mm -hmm. Listen. Go on the internet. Go on YouTube. See how many people that would have the gumption to talk to you straight up like this. That's Most of them want to tore around your soul. They won't love you like this. They don't love you. Nope. Mm -mm. <laughs> they ain't going to tell you the things you need to know. I'm not giving out truth waiting on for you to receive it. That ain't the way truth It don't work that way. Did not Jesus say, I'm the way, the truth, and the life? And the truth, and the life. Go John 8, 32. <laughs> I'm telling y'all, y'all better stop this religious crap. Definitely. Oh, yeah. Paul said, become ye followers of me, mm -hmm. even as I am a Messiah. Read John 8, 32. And you... Shall know the truth. And what that truth gonna do? And the truth shall make you free. Think about it. So, behold, I stand at the door and knock. Who's that standing at the door and knock? The truth is, right? Yes, truth. The truth is! Open up the door. Let her come in here and sup with you. And mind you, teacher Shay and I, you ain't even tapped into a tenth of the wisdom. We, we right now we just give you the inception because 
Who knows what kind of audience we got out here? Yes. Especially when it went silent, yeah. Show up tomorrow morning. Shabbat service. Tune in. We'll see what you got. We'll see what your boast is. And for all you to disagree in doctrine, come on, let's have a good civil discourse and let's see how much disagreement we do have. Come on. <laughs> Don't the book teach us letters earnestly? Yes, contend. For the what? For the faith. Contend. That means there's going to be some contention in there. We're going to wrestle. We're yes. going to strive. We're going to struggle. Yes. Let us earnestly contend. do this. Now, I don't think too many people are ready for this, man. They ain't ready for this. They're not ready for this. Not the real they, They're not ready for this. They ain't ready for this. <laughs> and mind you, I'm only speaking from earth. Yes. <laughs> but there's one that speaks Speak from, from heaven. There's a hell of a lot greater than one that speaks from earth. And if you can't stand before me and my words, what are you going to do with him? You get up sad again. <laughs> if you can't run with the damn footmen, how say you run with the horses? Yes. Man, I'm going to a break, man. Teach, put me on the break, man. I'm going to use the bathroom. Put me on the break, man. <laughs> songs, a lot of the brand new songs that we've been dealing with. Um, Brother Allen has wrote those songs. Um, you see how it goes. He'll come in with a tune. Um, he'll come in with some lyrics and Brother Allen does an excellent job. Yes. Matter of fact, we're going to turn that whole thing over to him. Yes. And, um, I'm so happy that somebody else is writing songs besides us. Mm -hmm. You know, follow me. And um, he'll give us a song, and I say, "Well, just let me work with it for a week." That's all I need. All I need is a baseline. If they doing work, he already done did the labor. Mm -hmm. 
and we tweak it just a little bit, not much. Yes. We don't get too much from the spirit that it came in. Brother Allen is doing a wonderful job. Yes, he is. And his family well. is doing doing well. They come a, a long way. Yes. And Brother Allen's doing a good job. And and damn Brother McNabb. <laughs> that man is a fisher man. You hear me? That brother can catch fish. <laughs> brother McNabb, man, he, he done caught so much. Man, he caught three big-ass rockfish. I got it on my phone. That brother catch... Man, that brother's a fisherman. That brother... I love it. I love it when I see Israelites that can fish, that can hunt, that work. Most people never even know how much satisfaction, you know, satisfy, satisfaction, satisfaction you can get out of work later. Oh, yes. But man, that's another good brother. You know, Brother McNabb is just newly married, too. Yes. Constance, I hope you can keep up with the righteousness of your husband. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, that's Pastor Dow. Hey, Pop Dow. Yeah, 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 yeah. I see everything. Yeah, yeah, I see everything. I hope you can keep up with the righteousness of your husband. That man, he reminds me, just like Elder Mitch, he loves y'all. Ain't a damn thing gonna move him from y'all either. I promise you that. So don't ever think for one minute that your place is secure and you're there. You better keep up on the cutting edge. I promise you that because that man, he's serious about y'all. He loves y'all. Yes, he does. Yes, he does. That's my son. Yes, he does. I love it too. Love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. Oh, we got a few minutes here, man. We ain't even went over. Let me go over this stuff. Got, got a few little notes here, man. We want to hit on, man. We've been a whole dang broadcast. So, hey, we are getting ready for the new community in Alabama. Uh, that's being started. Uh, we got a lot of faithful brothers and sisters that has contributed a lot to the cause to make sure it gets done. And we're going to get it done. And they're going to have a beautiful community and homestead. I just have to pray and ask for the father who I set up as leadership there. And, yes. and then we got to teach them how to govern and lead. Because yes. the one thing you ain't going to do, you ain't going to oppress the people. You follow me? And the, um, but you notice people are starting to take heed to the message. I post a message on Patreon Day where this guy named Judah Mack, he was supposed to be there at the Atlanta conference, but he didn't show up. But then he made a video on Facebook, and he gave out a lot of shout-outs to Pastor Down the Straightway community. And now they're doing what we've been doing for the last almost 30 years. Good. That's good. Yes. I like that. Yes. Tell you the truth, I would love to be able to meet him in person, mm -hmm. that young man. Yes. I love being able to meet him in person. Um, and I'm going to tell you the reason why I love to meet him in person. Give him a little bit, at least try to give a little bit of direction. Yes, yes. Much. You know, charge, of course, yes. save you some time, energy, and effort. Yeah. A little bit of wisdom, charge you. You ain't got to be part of us. No. Today I held up in the video. You see this? Mm -hmm. That's one hand, but he had five fingers. One hand, five fingers. And getting still, you don't see all these fingers together, you see them divided, mm -hmm. don't you? Oh, yeah. One, two, three, four, five. They divide. While we're on this earth, we're going to be something like that. But that one hand is soon to come together. Must. At the time of the coming of Messiah, we're going to be like this. I don't trip over all this. Bones will live, no, they, I don't yeah. trip over all this. Because I know we all going to be yeah. this. You ain't got to come over here and pay homage and 
bow down and all of a sudden, you, you come, just come in the honor of the way you're supposed to. Yes. The book I'm a hoary headed man now. Yes. I'm old. I'm getting old. I have wisdom beyond all these people 20 years in front of me, 20 years behind me. I can show you what other people can't do. We could save you a lot of steps. Yes. Many Love to give it to you. <laughs> and then once it's in your hand, it's in your power. Mm -hmm. Once it's in your hand, it's in your power to do with it what you will. We ever heard talk like this before? No. That's book. Did ain't that the same thing that Peter said to Ananias and Sapphira over in Acts 5? Mm -hmm. Anyway, our cadence is different over here straightway because we live. They that preach it must live. They that preach it must live. They that preach it must live. And they that preach it must live. And when there's someone that preaches we live it, our doorway of entrance is greater. Yes. By a long shot. Our witness is greater. Yeah, it's big time greater. <laughs> so let me see. We've had also Brother Patrick, he had a son. Yes, hallelujah. Brother Ron just had a son, another son. All right. Hallelujah. Another son. So now is the daytime and hour of the boys. Because, man, we have so many women. Yes. You know what's amazing, teacher? That all our children are going to grow up knowing that the biblical Hebrew family is normal. Mm -hmm. Did you hear what I said? Oh, yeah. I'm a, I'm a, oh, I, got yeah. A, I got a strong <laughs> rebuke for our generation. Come on. It ain't so much as men, but you women, y'all are wicked as hell. You still a bunch of damn Gentiles in your head. Women, let me let you in on how a man thinks. You think one way, a man thinks another. Women, you worried about if somebody going to come in is going to upstage you or be better than you. A man, only thing he's seeking is to add value mm -hmm. to his family. No big eyes, no big use, because he's going to love you all the same. You, you want to be argumentative, want to be in competition, want to sow discord, want to be in dissension. Keep up a bunch of shit, and then watch you. Let me quote the scripture, all right? Don't go there, just let me quote it, all right? Okay. And with all your selfishness, your self-centeredness, your self-focus, your self-absorbed, you would rather send a righteous man to an early grave with all your damn contention and your backbiting and your hatred and discord than to get behind him, I did say behind him, and his agenda and being obedient to his will and thy desire shall be to thy husband and he shall trump that if you want to and see what's going to happen when you get before judgment day. Thank your ass getting by with it right now. Let's see what's going to happen on judgment day. And you men, you better start checking him because your ass ain't getting by on judgment day either. You call yourself Israelites and Hebrews and Israelites and you hate Yah's culture. You hate what he has set up. You despise. You wicked ass people. They don't like hit you. I'm going to tell you something. What y'all will judge the thought in the eternal heart. You men, you're a bunch of damn punks if you let the women get by with it. And then you damn women, you, you got to go to the lowest parts of hell 
if you're trying to manipulate and coerce and use that satanic ass spirit which you're so sensitive to to try to deceive a simple ass man. I think we're probably talking too deep for this broadcast though, man. No, for real. Come on. Keep digging your pits. Come on. It's so damn sad. <laughs> no, for real. It's just so yeah. damn sad. It's so damn sad. It's so damn sad. You vicious ass, mummy ass, mistress ass, mouth women. You, you're just so damn sad. And you weak, soft. I'm trying to get my blood pressure down. Hold on. What well, passed down? I don't like how you put. It. I don't like what. I don't give a damn how you like what I put it with. Say, but you know what? It's still not going to change Judgment Day. No. And if I've echoed and I said anything no. contrary to y'all's will, guess what? We both would gladly and happily go to Judgment, like it or not. Yes. Everybody going. Yes. That's a point. So I'm full aware, <laughs> way I speak and how I speak at the inflection, the tone. I know it's all going to judgment. I ain't no fool. No, you're speaking I don't humility. take him for granted. Huh? You speak in humility. Yes, you do. It's a damn shame. I think the sad part about it is when you men care more about the thoughts and the feelings and emotions. And don't worry about it. I, I get it. You got a soul tie with them. But man, if they try to take you off course from y'all, try to take the family off course from y'all, oh, hell no. I had an issue I was considering. But man, when I seen how so self-centered, self-focused, and self-absorbed she was, and you think you're going to take your time away from my son that's just getting ready to come into this damn world, I'm glad I said you were just a consideration. You're out of your damn mind. I may have been born at night, but it wasn't a damn last night. I ain't no damn fool. I may be a fool. I ain't no. I ain't that damn big of a fool. I want everybody to be happy to the greatest extent that you can be. You want people free. I do want them free. You shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. And, and I so want many people resist the truth that's yeah. coming from your mouth. They do. They think it's coming from man. And it ain't coming from no, man. It's coming from God. He ordained it from the beginning. What teacher's saying is, you see this silhouette, you hear this voice, and you take it personally, you think I'm and personally attacking you. You think I'm personally talking to you. Not knowing, because you don't know, because if you knew the book, would you perceive it that way? If you knew the book, if he... That created all things came down and said the same thing. Would you speak to him and talk to him the same way? Pastor Dow speaking on earth. If you resist him, you're speaking to him. You're resisting him and speaking from heaven as well. That's book. That's book. That's Bible. Straight up. Daniel Mirror said, come on, teacher Shane. Big old capitalized letters too. They ain't got it, teach. They ain't got it. They ain't got it. One reason why I know they don't have because they ain't students. They they're not students, disciples. And they're not filled with the spirit of truth. They ain't truth. filled with the spirit of truth. Man. I think what I hate more than anything is how a Gentile minded men and women they actually hate our heritage Go to Jeremiah 17, 4. They hate our culture. They hate everything that there is concerning Israel because they have become so used to being common slaves. Slaves! Slaves to emotion. Slaves to feeling. Slaves to things you don't even know. Yes. Slaves! Slaves! Where are we at? My notes. Jeremiah 17. Oh, Yaki. Okay, I got to deal with that one. What what I call? Jer Jeremiah 17, 4. Jeremiah 17, 4. Read on, teach. And you, and even you. yourself. Even yourself. Come on. 
shall get discontinue from your heritage. Y'all hear that, Israel? Jeremiah, that long distance prophet, mm -hmm. said we would discontinue from our heritage. Come on with it, teach. That he gave you, that Yah gave you. And I will cause you to serve your enemies. You hear that? That's where we at today now. And it will cause you to serve your enemies. Come on. In the land which you knew not. Do we ever know this piece of land? No. We never known this piece no. of land. Come on. For you have kindled a fire in my name. God. Now mind you, you think you mad. You ain't seen no damn madness till the most high gets mad. Our madness ain't shit compared to what he got. No. Come on. Which shall burn forever. For a short period of time. Ever. For an hour. Ever. For a day. Ever. For a week. Ever. For a month. Ever. For a year. Ever. For a decade. Ever. Forever. Ever. Yeah, keep on teach. Keep on preach. Come on. Knock at the door. But I tell you one thing. <laughs> there are those of us. There ain't no way in hell. We're going to trade whatever the hell this life got for mm -hmm. eternity. Ain't going to do it. You're dealing with people like you and I. Mm -hmm. Um. Frogman, Ranger. Mm -hmm. All the brothers and sisters that have been faithful over the years coming to the ministry. And then you deal with all these professors. I remember I told him I prayed for them way back in 2004. Yes. It didn't materialize until what, 2015. Yep. Uh, Kabir, Daniel, Rob, TJ, Lions on the mm -hmm. damn field. You understand, man. You, you got to hit a man almost every damn play. That shit ain't no joke, man. That's why they broke up and shit. Rob, man, is the best at his position that this ever has been. Mm -hmm. And we see him now walking around. Rob hurting like hell, man. He broke up his shit. Still driving on. We are the few to call the chosen for and ordain yes. to eternal life. Yes. You know what I love about all these brothers and sisters in this ministry? Is that they use self-autonomy. Mm -hmm. They check out mm -hmm. what we're saying. And they search the scriptures. Yes. Go to 1 Thessalonians 5.21. And, and they see if the things that we are saying, if it is so. Bro, Samuel, man, damn modern, modern, modern day Alexander Scorby, Alex Haley, man, I love, man, brother Samuel voice, man, that brother, and that brother know the book too. I like, I love, bro, man. Yes, good brother. Much love in him. What we call first? First Thessalonians five twenty one. First Thessalonians five twenty one. Come on with it. Prove. All things. Some things. All things. A few things. All things. Just what I want to test. All things. And and do what? Hold fast that which is good. Only one good. <laughs> we finally got some rain down here. Yes. I can tell right because my sinuses are cutting up a fool, man. Um, we're going to jump thoughts here for a second. I was looking at my notes right here. We still got the debate with Yacht Key. It must go on. Boy, you seen they, I told you what was going to happen, right? I told you they can't help. They can't shut their mouth. They can't help it. They're going to play their full card, play their full hand. They're going to. Yeah. 
They've done, they've done it too. They're gonna utter all their mind. Man, this booger <laughs> has got a damn shama, damn head cover. He's ringing bells and every damn thing else, man. He, he done claimed to be a Sarmatian and Coconut. all this stuff, man. <laughs> all I'm doing is just sitting back and waiting. Good. Just waiting for the time to, th to bring in the kill punch. Yeah. So the, the bait, as far as I know, is still in full effect. Just follow the wisdom of Pastor Dow. I know what the hell I'm doing. Yeah. All you people that was Yaquism. Boy, don't you feel like a bunch of damn fools now when you see all this stuff going out? Boy, y'all see what he's doing now, man. It's crazy. He got bowls and meditation room full of water and stuff, man. All kind of satanic emblems and every damn thing else. And yeah, he ooh, hey! <laughs> Shout out to Sister Brittany, our attorney in the ministry, and yeah. and um, uh, dang it, our sister over on the West Coast. You know who you are. I got a research team. I ain't telling nobody, but I got a research team, but I ain't telling nobody. This debate. Rob, Daniel, all y'all gonna love this. We grave digging. We grave digging because when this debate is over with, we putting this shit to rest. <laughs> I'm telling you right now. I'm gonna tear his young ass up. Him and Malachi. And mind you, I got teacher Eric on my side, and you know, teacher. Once we start bouncing notes and offer each other, it's over with. Yeah. Matter of fact, I may just let Teacher Eric, you go ahead and handle the first half yeah. of, of the uh, meat and the chicken and all that. Give me the esoteric. Yeah. Give me <laughs> give me the satanic. Give me the lily. Give me all that. Give me, give me, damn it, the symbolism. Hey! That's how we do that. I can't wait. I can't wait. But before we get there, I am getting ready because it's been two years running because COVID hit. I got to say that COVID did hit. I supposed to be in Portland, Oregon. And so myself, so far as it stands, before this month is over with, myself and Yasha and Elder Rufus, we're heading out to Portland, Oregon. Um, we got a group out there of intelligent men, businessmen, mm -hmm. businessmen who own construction companies, big construction companies. They're doing good. But they have since come to Torah. And they've been watching us, and they know... Because they are intelligent. They know that they need to be doing what we, what we need to be doing. But they want to know how to do it in a righteous way on this level. Right. And, of course, we can save them a lot of steps. You know what I mean? We can tell, I can tell them exactly what to look for. You know what I mean? All the good stuff. Yes, sir. And so we're going out to deal with uh, some heavy hitters, um, brothers who love y'all. Hopefully they bring them on point. And the most high be praised and the fruit come from that. Oh, yes. And so some people wonder, well, Pastor Dow, why don't you just go ahead and do the debate? Listen, this debate to us in the grand scheme of things, this thing takes a back seat. Yeah. We already got stuff on the calendar that's been on the calendar for a while. This debate just newly coming up, it, it can wait. I promise you it can. There's some of you hasty in the spirit yeah. people. Don't exalt no all you got to do is just follow all the so-called yeah. Hebrew Israelites. <laughs> Listen, I'm going to say it again. Before Pastor Dow accepted the challenge of the debate that Yaqui put out, he said he would debate anyone. That was his big mistake. Because mm -hmm. he thought I was all together like everybody else. I said, I'm somebody. Yeah. I didn't take it personal. 
I, I, how many times I keep saying, how many times teach I get, I have to keep on saying this, civil discourse. <laughs> that means respectful and honorable. Yes. Tactful. And then you're going to make a video after that as if I'm going to attack civil, nothing personal. Meet your call, yeah. But your demon infested ass, I'm going to rip your ass apart. <laughs> and that's what they're afraid of. They ain't saying it, yes. though, because they're too prideful and too arrogant. Yes. And that Malachi, man, you ought to be ashamed of yourself. Come on. You making videos about. How that this Torah is so right and anybody speak against this man, uh, how they are Satan and much of an antichrist, and then you turn around and do the very damn things your mouth speak. You picked up a loaded gun. Uh, I'm gonna tell you right now, this this, this we going grave digging, but what what me and teacher. This is kind of like me debating Ron Young yeah. on the Christmas and Easter. So I turn around and I already let her, when I said that he was a Hindu, I let it out the back. Yeah. Everybody ran with it in the Hebrew community. Yeah. The only difference between myself and everybody else out there is, is that Pastor Dow called him out on this bullshit. And I said, we're going to do it. We will set it up. And I'm glad that you damn put your ass in the damn fight. These people want to make videos and expose everything behind the scenes. Face, yeah. We love the face-to-face -face -face -face. up front, uh, yeah. close confrontation. I, that's how we're going to meet this yeah. shit. That's the, that's the straight way. That's how we do it. That's how men did it. And that's how men do it today. Yeshua did. That's straight up. He sure did. He damn sent them down scribes and Pharisees. Even man, if he made them so yeah. damn mad yeah. that they plotted for three and a half years and how to kill him. Yes. Which <laughs> Yah said, You ain't got no power unless it was in my hand to give it to you. Yeah. He gave you the damn answers, yes. fool. <laughs> Dumbass. Yeah, I mean. And Christians, y'all yeah. <laughs> ass just stay out of it. Just stay on the sideline. Y'all ain't even in it. Yeah. Look, listen. Just stay I'm a, good Romans. Yeah, just, 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 just stay good Romans. Just stay yeah. good Romans. <laughs> your ass is grass over here. You just, <laughs> just keep your damn punk asses over there. Get right. your fairy tale make believe ass stuff. Ooh, we, we lost a lot of people. We lost 40 something people that fast, teach. Wow. Wow. So we're going to be in Oregon. Let me see the last note we got. Listen. I'm going to say this, and this is the last time I'm going to say it. Because you're not going to stress me or my size out on this at all. If you're asking for an exemption letter, especially for the feast, and I have not personally shook your hand or hugged you. I don't know you. True. You ain't getting one. I ain't doing no more long ass exemption letters. I done did exemption letters from down Trinidad to Arizona to down Alaska to Hawaii to down Honduras. You think I'm kidding? To them, the Netherlands, yeah. back over to England and America. I'm not doing this shit no more. If I don't know you, you ain't been here to these feasts, no more exemption letters for you. Because what's happening is, is that our name is starting to be scrutinized, and some of you have showed yourself to be hypocrites, and you ain't even following the ministry. You listen to a couple of broadcasts, and your hypocritical ass is putting our name and our integrity on the line. And our name is not going to be shamed because you're a hypocrite. You better make sure that the next time you ask for an exemption, you better be in good standing. Good standing. Good standing in this ministry. And we know you.
must have a good report. You, but you better have a good report. <laughs> you don't. You ain't getting nothing. <laughs> and some of y'all, listen. If you got a cold, you know they're going to they tell you you got COVID. If your ass itch, you got COVID. <laughs> you follow me? Wherever you got, you got COVID. You, you follow Listen, don't come to the feast sick. No. Please. Now, if you have a legitimate disease that's a sickness, you know we'll take care. Well, we ain't going to take care of shit. Y'all would take care of it yeah. using us and our hands. But he is the only healer. Yes. Yah is the only deliverer. He's the only doctor. The only one in the universe. Mm -hmm. There is no one besides him. No, not one. All our salvation comes from him because Yah is salvation. Oh, we got to throw this for the balance too. Exodus 15, verse 3. We got to throw this for the balance in there too. Well, we're sitting right on top of the hour right here. Getting ready for the, the lion's den. Listen, Israel. Some people think that I don't love you, but I, hey, let y'all be the judge. What do you think, teach? Always. Mm. Always. I love you more than you can know. I love y'all. I see these babies born into the world. Bless their heart. May we prepare them the best way we can. And may yes. they listen. Yes. And may y'all grant them the ears to hear, the eyes to see, and the heart to believe. Yeah. Please. But we're here. We're here. You know, teach, we ain't done nothing in vain. No. We ain't done nothing in vain. For sure. I know that for sure. So I, well I had Mama Dow and Mother Carol with me from the beginning. You know, I will tell you this, though, man. I, I love my house. I got a good house. Mm -hmm. I got a good house. I really, yeah. truly have a good house. Um, my shies, man, I, I love them so much. I love all you. Y'all so beautiful. 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 I love y'all all so much. Y'all yes. so beautiful. Very encouraging, very edifying. It is. And I watch to see the way they all do with Hiskia. Yeah. I try my best to get my time in Hiskia, yeah. but sometimes, man, and they don't understand. This winter, they ain't going to see too much of me at all. Yeah. I mean, I, I have my little time with them, but this winter, you know, we, we really get after it. Mm -hmm. When the rest of the world is shivering and talking about how cold it is and full of shit and everything else, we working. Yeah, we're not sluggish. Oh, Jesus. I thought about actually doing... Wait a minute, I called the scripture, right? Yes. Exodus what was 15, it? 15, 3. Oh, go ahead and read, teach. Yah is a what? Is a man of war. No, no, no. Wait a minute. God is love. He's a man of war. But the Torah said before God is love, the Torah said that Yah is a man of... War. A man of war. A man of war. A man of war. You mean tell me the creator universe is still a man? The man? Christ Jesus? Yes. Oh, okay. Or did he war? Mm. <laughs> Brusty, Sister Wendy, I see y'all. Hey, I, we got our toy mats. We sure did a bunch of them. <laughs> they, we got a bunch of them in. Um, man, we're trying to get over that border right now. I'm fighting like hell to get his Kaya, his birth, um, his passport. I got a bunch of illiterate ass people that don't even know the law down here. I got a fighting contention with, you know what I mean? Yes. But, um, hey, if I can't show up, I'll send, I'll send Nellie Carroll and some up there, me and this guy will stay back. South of the border. <laughs> and let them go up there and enjoy y'all. Um, and I may come later myself or something like that. Um, 
But we'll see. We'll see. Man, I can't believe next year will be going on year number three that I ain't seen Stephen Wendell and the northern tribes of Israel. Indeed. Brother Ugly. Ugly. Brother Mike. Brother Mike. Brother Dwayne. Sure. Sister Jane. Oh, Jesus. Listen. I understand that straightway can be what the world considers to be harsh and brass, right? I don't. We don't think that way at all. We just people of truth. We love truth. We got straightway. Lions Den coming up next. Oh, let me make sure. Ah, we talk about it a little bit. Maybe we'll talk about it a little more. But we got straightway lines then coming up next. Love my family. I truly do. Glad to see a lot of boys being born. Yes. In case some of you don't know, if your wife is doing well, doing fine, no complications or nothing like that, in the ministry here of straightway, we have never, ever, ever, I'm talking about the hub of Tennessee. We have never, ever, ever went out and got a pediatrician or try to figure out what sex the baby is. We've never done that. That's not our standard operating procedure. Everything we've done is by faith. By faith. Yes. We're not so stupid. We're not so dumb and insensitive. What some of you do is, is you hear that one person went to a doctor, you just run to it. No. If there is complications, we're not so stupid. We know what the book says in the apocrypha about the, the physician. Yeah. We ain't stupid. But don't sit up there and try to relax and take advantage of y'all's mercies I mean. and his graces. Yes. And all of you out there that contribute to Pastor Dow's vacation fund. Elder Rufus has delivered on time y'all contributions. And I greatly and I humbly appreciate it. Matter of fact, a lot of times when I receive those things, after you give them to me, I usually go in a room and start crying. That's what I usually do. It's a good thing to know. I got plenty of people. I'm surrounded by love all over the place. But man... I never even knew how stressed I was and how much that the devil, without me knowing, he's actually trying to get me to an early grade. Mm -hmm. But, hey, no big deal. We're going to the grave. You know we're going to the grave, right? We're going to take our nap, get our rest. But I thank each and every last one of you that has contributed to it because... I promise you, I do get rest, especially, it usually takes, it's crazy what takes place. I'm going to let y'all in on this and then we go. Okay, so we get there day one. All right, I can feel a little bit subsiding. Day two, wake up in the morning, go eat, and I just lay down on the damn lounge chair under some cabana or something, right? All day, just listen, basically listen to the ocean, you know what I mean, just stuff like that. And I can feel the stress like Lee. It's, it's like, I was like, man, this is normal stuff for Americans. You follow me? So then, day three comes along. And I wake up and it's like, it's almost gone. It's gone. So I got four and five. By the time I get to day six, I'm good. We're coming back, right? Getting ready to come back. Brother, we ain't even in the United States of America probably an hour before you can feel the damn heaven is coming right back on you again. And it's not so much as stress as it is spirits. Mm -hmm. You hear me? Mm -hmm. It's not so much as stress Spirit. as it is spirits. Spirit. That is how oppressed we are yes. in the United States. 
States of America. Satan has got a stronghold on the minds. Of the, let's finish this. 2 Corinthians chapter 4, verse 4. Let's finish on this one right here, all right? I'm telling you, it, it, this, this, this is so bad. Read on, teach. In whom? The no, hold, 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 hold. Go to 2 and then read verse 3 and 4 and 5. Read on. Sorry, verse 1, I might as well. Go ahead, verse 1. Therefore, seeing we have this ministry, as we have received mercy, we, no, we don't. faint not. We will receive mercy so we don't faint. Come on. But have renounced the hidden things of dishonesty. I've done that. You done that? Yes. Now, don't we? You look at open books. We ain't got nothing else. Yeah. To Come on. Not walking in craftiness. Or. Nor handling the word of Yah deceitfully. Come on. But by manifestation of the truth, there it is. Commending ourselves to every, every man's, man's what conscience. To every man's what conscience. We commend ourselves to every man's conscience. Use your damn autonomy. Use your mind. Use your reasoning. Read on. In the sight of Yah. But if our gospel be hid. If the message be hid. That's what it translates in the scripture. If the message be hid. It is hid to them that are lost. To them that are who? Lost. That are him that are what? Lost. You don't comprehend. You don't understand this message. We get it. We, you're lost. I, first of all, number one, I cannot and teach cannot according to John 7 and John 8. We can't open your understanding. There's only one that can one. open up your understanding. You understand the scripture. None our business. Yah is the one who pick and choose. Yah is the one who's predestined. Mm -hmm. Yah is the one who's chosen. Yah is the one. Is that right? I mean, he know yes. them that are his. Yes. <laughs> what am I supposed to do? Just accept defeat and default? And I already know that he's called us and chose us to be his. No. no. I'm going to embrace this. I'm yeah. going to run with this. Yes. Cleave. <laughs> I ain't letting it go. Ever. I mean, I'm in the kingdom, damn it. I mean, and I'm going to live that way throughout all of eternity. And I will not squander it for this mess of parts. I mean, ain't no way in hell. That damn fool. You think I'm going to give up eternal life for this? Anyway. Come on, teach. If our gospel be hid, it is hid to them that are lost. That are what? That are lost. In whom what? In whom the mighty one, the, the God of this world. So this there world. is a God of this world. Mm -hmm. We told y'all from the beginning, the least, the real estate, sin, been turned over. Mm -hmm. to the Hasatan, from Hadam and Hava, from the very beginning. And the Most High, Yah, has strategized a plan all the way up to this point to redeem his people. Mm -hmm. Come on. And whom the mighty one of this world has blinded the mind. Oh, the eyes. The mind. The conscious. The mind. Oh, what I perceive. The mind. He's blinded literally the mind. The mind. See, so he's got the minds closed up to see a certain way. Mm -hmm. Read on. Blinded the minds of them which believe not. So, if people don't believe, it makes no difference to me. Whosoever, whatsoever, or whatever they may be, I'm glad my conscience is open. My mind is open. I'm glad my mind is open. Praise Yah. So Satan is blind to minds. And then think about that for a second. You know you are people of the book and you are people of the truth and you being what people are. Family, friends, colleagues, associates, acquaintances, every one of them. And your mind used to be in the same condition as theirs was. Mm -hmm. But then you turn around and you give them the truth. And you challenge them yeah. on the truth that they say yeah. and think Speak. that they know. Yeah. And they don't know it. No. <laughs> and they get mad at you and treat you as an enemy. Mm -hmm. Because all you're trying to do is save them. Mm -hmm. Come on, teach. Lest. The light of the glorious 
message, the glorious good news, the glorious gospel of Christ. So what? Who is the image of Yah should shine unto them. You know what I love about straightway? We praise, we worship, we cry, we sigh, we speak in tongues, we cast out devils, we heal, we deliver, we set free. All in the name of Jesus. Mm -hmm. Y'all show sure home shit. Sounds good. Yes. Real. With that said, lines then coming up. We keep on going all night long. Ain't going to. I want to hear what D and them got to say. Miss y'all brothers. Love y'all dearly. I'm going to tell you right now. For all men, I ain't going back out on that range again. If it's going to be a possibility, it's going to be some incompetent asshole out there that's going to cause a 55-year-old pastor to run that hill. I bless you all. The sweet person is strong and victorious and mighty. Overcoming name or soon coming king. Y'all see all my shit. Jesus the Christ. Shabbat Shalom. The king. See y'all tomorrow morning, 11 a.m. Central Standard Time. It's coming. Look at him looking.